Jesus Christ, the Son of God, was born for you and me. He came to bring the good news from sin to set us free. The blind, the deaf, the lame, the poor, His power meant to see. He gave His life upon the cross, eternal life to keep. Shed wine before his agony. We share the body and the blood in his memory. To make his message known is our responsibility. So here we are to pledge our lives to the Lord of eternity.
Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. As we gather today, we also celebrate the birthday of our Venerable Mother Consuelo in heaven. Mother Consuelo Bar Barcelo y Pajes, OSA, founders of Agustinian Sisters of Our Lady of Consolation, Joaquina Mercedes Barcelo y Pajes, was born in Saria, Barcelona, on July 24, 1857. She was the youngest of the five children of Salvador Barcelo and Maria Pajes. In early 1883, he, she entered the Beaterio de Mantelatas de San Agustin in Barcelona, Spain. She arrived in Manila on October 6, 1883. Together with her sister, Mother Rita, they responded to the care of the children orphaned by the cholera epidemic in 1882. On December 26, 1884, Joaquina Barcelo made her profession of vows and was given the name Sor Consuelo. The Philippine Revolution of 1896 and the Spanish-American War of 1898 led to the separation of Mother Rita and Mother Consuelo from the Filipino sisters. Eventually, Mother Consuelo governed the first general chapter in 1915 and for the next 25 years, her firm and gentle leadership manifested her outstanding virtues of love of God, love of neighbor, faith, hope, human justice, humility, poverty, obedience, and fortitude. Mother Consuelo quietly celebrated her 83rd birthday on July 24, 1940. She died on August 4, 1940 after serving the Lord faithfully for 56 years. My dear brothers and sisters, please stand and welcome Christ and his minister as we sing our entrance hymn. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. John Mary Vianney, the patron of all parish priests. We also celebrate the 85th birthday of Mother Venerable Mother Consuelo in heaven. Because when we celebrated that anniversary, we don't celebrate death, but we celebrate life. And today is also my birthday, because I was born August 4, 1951. At that time, the calendar of the church was given to St. Dominic de Guzman. This is why my name is Domingo. But the priest has been transferred to August 8. But it is a providential a change of patron saint because as a priest, St. John Mary Bianne is our patron. So to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to, to you, you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. We also pray for the sanctification of priests all over the world and for the beatification and canonization of Venerable Mother Consuelo. Almighty and merciful God, who made a priest, St. John Marie Vianney, wonderful in his pastoral zeal, grant, we pray, that through his intercession and example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them eternal glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. We are now in the first part of our celebration, the letter Z of the Word. A reading from the book of Prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. I will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers, the day I took them by the hand, to lead them forth from the land of Egypt, for they broke my covenant. And I had to show myself their masters, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All their evil doing, and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Response. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Response. Create a clean heart in me, O God. For you are not pleased with sacrifices, should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. 
a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Response. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Please all stand in honor of the Holy Gospel. And upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the nether world shall not prevail against it. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, and he, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? St. Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed on the third day, and be killed and on the third day be raised. Then Peter told Jesus, took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forgive, Lord. No such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters, today as we celebrate the memorial, of St. John Marie Vianney, the patron of Paris Priest, and the birth of Mother, Venerable Mother Consuelo in heaven. We're all challenged to see who Christ is in our life. And if you are asked the same question as the Lord asked the disciples, who do you say I am? What will be your response? Brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the memorial of St. John Marie Vianney, we are reminded of holiness, 
the call to holiness is our common vocation. St. John Marie Vianney uh, entered the seminary at the age of 19, but he did just stayed for several months because his meager education has not prepared him for seminary training. So he was sent to a priest who tutored him. And after several years, this priest asked the bishop to ordain Marie Vianney. He, when he was ordained, the bishop was in quandary where to send him because he had meager education and only had an informal training in a convent or in a rectory. So he was sent to the remotest place in the diocese. It was a diocese near Lyon. So from this place to ours, he walked for several hours. And while he was about to reach ours, he lost his way. And when he lost his way, he met a boy named Antoine and asked the boy from where he is. And the boy said, I am from Ars. So the boy, Antoine, led him to Ars. And upon reaching the small church of Ars, St. John Marie Vianney said, Antoine, you have shown me the way to Ars. Now I will show you the way to heaven. At the start of his ministry in Ars, the Ars, Ars was composed of 50 families, 250 souls, as they said before, 250 persons. In the beginning, the people of Ars, they were baptized or sacramentalized, but not evangelized, which means they were not really living the Christian faith because they were fond of dancing and doing other things contrary to the faith. So it took several months before they recognized the holiness of their, faith, their parish priest. And eventually, they became proud of their priest because they considered their parish priest as a saint. And this reality was known not only in ours, not only in France, not only in Europe, but all over the world. Ours was a small village, yet the government of France at that time built a railroad station up to ours because of the many people who came to ours to listen to the teaching of Jean Marie Vianney and to go to confession. It is said that Jean Marie Vianney could read the secrets of a confessor, of a person who confessed to him, just like Father Saint Father Pedro Pio, Padre Pio, Padre Pio. You remember Father Pio could read the souls of his penitent. And one day, when John Paul II was still a student in Rome, he said to John Paul II, someday you will become Pope. And he did. Now, France and Europe, because he, could, he also could read the souls of the penitents and lead the penitents to, towards heaven. Now, the challenge for us with the life of St. John Marie Vianney is to see the importance of holiness in our life. Holiness is not our work, but it's God's work in us. This is why the first reading reminds us what the Lord said through Jeremiah. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. Brothers and sisters, if we consider prayer and intimate communion with the Lord as part and parcel of our life, just like those who went to Father Marie Vianney, God will put 
or place His law within us and write it upon our hearts. This is why John Marie Vianney said, The priesthood is the love in the heart of Jesus. It is only, it's not only the priesthood, but our life as disciples of the Lord is the love in the heart of our Lord. So when we communion with the Lord, when we communion with the Lord, it is a heart-to-heart -heart union which leads us to holiness. God's word, not our word in our life. So today, as we celebrate the memorial of St. John Marie Vianney and the birthday of Venerable Mother Consuelo in heaven, let us ask for the grace to have this hunger and thirst for God so that we may recognize His law within us and be aware that this law has been written in our hearts. Amen. Please stand. Brothers and sisters, rarely do we remember our pastors who help us each day in our spiritual needs. On this feast of St. John Marie Vianney, let us remember them in our prayers. Let our response be, Divine Shepherd, bless your flock. Divine Shepherd, bless your flock. That the Holy Spirit may guide our pastors in leading the flock of the ways of holiness. May they have the genuine seal for saving souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, Shepherd, bless your, your flock. flock. That the parish pastors may generously serve the church in their bear witness to the good news they proclaim. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, bless your flock. That the lay faithful may collaborate in the various programs and activities of the parish. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, bless your flock. That by their generosity, Christian parents may nurture the religious vocation in their family. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, bless your flock. That our deceased priests and bishops may be made worthy to share in the Master's table. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, bless your flock. In the silence of our hearts, let us express to the Lord our other special intentions in this Mass. Lord God, through the intercession of St. John Marie Vianney, guide and protect our parish pastors. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be seated. Thank you. 
Then. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that these are offerings of bread and wine, symbols of ourselves and our efforts may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honor of St. John Mary Vianney, a means to our eternal salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right in us. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we have lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Santo, Santo, Santo. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Dennis our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint John Mary Vianney and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, so now we have the courage to say. Oh, 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ who said to your apostles and friends, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. This is our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the truth, the way, and the life. Happy are we who are called to his supper. You should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Thank you. 
Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacraments we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which St. John Marie Vianney burned ardently as he gave himself unceasingly for your church. Through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. On behalf of La Consolacion University Philippines, headed by our Dynamic University President, Sister Edita Zerna OSA, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to Father Domingo Salonga for celebrating the Mass for today. As all of us are seated solemnly, 
we will now be conducting our offering of flowers and veneration of Mother Consuelo for her untiring service to our community. May we request the offices of the university to please stand. In gratitude for the gift of life which God have graciously given to Father Meming, may we request everyone to please extend their hand as we impart a blessing to Father Meming. May we request everyone to please stand for the prayer of blessing. Thank you. 
the sing of union with you always. May you walk on holy ground. Blessing of God go before you. May your grace and peace of May your spirit live within you. May your love wrap you around. May your love be with you always. May you walk on holy ground. Thank you, Oremos Pro Invicem. Let us pray for each other and let us always remember that we should also ask continuously the grace of having a hunger and thirst for God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Almighty and loving God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now praise the Lord. Salama, sa mayamang lupa't dagat At sa magandang kalipasan At sa aming kanang lugar Hindi pa sa lamat At sa masayang kami Uliin at inagpa Sa lamatan ng Diyos Ang Please me. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, Our Lady of Consolation, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Augustine, Pray for us. Saint Monica, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsod, Mother Rita, Venerable Mother Consuelo, and all the deceased Augustinian sisters, brothers, and fathers, our holy guardian angels, watch over San Cunillo, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, please be seated for a while. In behalf of the IEP office, we would like to thank the following office for the gracious extending of their time and effort for the celebration today. And also, we thank the Health Services Unit for sp sponsoring the Mass for the day. Thank you very much for attending and have a blessed day, everyone. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, was born for you and me. He came to bring the good news. From sin to set us free The blind, the deaf, the lame, the poor His power meant to see He gave His life upon the cross Eternal life to keep He broke bread and shed wine Before His agony We share the body and the blood in his memory to make his message known is our responsibility so here we are to pledge our lives to the lord of eternity
raise our voices, live the truth with those who've gone astray. Nourished by the Eucharist, we build community. So here we are to pledge our lives to the Lord of eternity.